Hi everybody, this video demonstrates the Arduino specific features of the uh, Linduino OpenWRT based firmware for this uh, uh, small TP-Link TL-WR703N wireless router. Actually, these are uh, pretty advanced features since uh, most of them are only available on the, at the command line. But the goal here is to uh, integrate them into the, uh, the nice uh, web admin from the uh, Linduino firmware. So the device we are talking about is this uh, small wireless router uh, from TP-Link, which is a very nice uh, small footprint uh, wireless router because it's only like uh, 5.7 by 5.7 by 1.8 centimeter in dimension. So it, that makes uh, something like 2, uh, 2 2.4 inches by 2.4 inches by uh, 0 0.7 inches. And for this, and uh, at a very affordable price, you can get it for twenty-two dollars on on eBay. Uh, so the Ethernet, uh, you have an Ethernet uh, wire wired connection here, AJ forty-five. You have a micro USB connector, which is used only for the uh, powering the, the device. You have a small recessed reset button here, and on the right side, you have an USB two dot zero uh, high speed uh, host. Uh, connector. Uh, be careful though because this is only EHCI compliant uh, USB 2.0 so it doesn't work well with uh, full speed devices uh, I mean uh, uh, all the um, uh, 12 megabits uh, and doesn't work at all for the uh, low speed devices 1.5 uh, megabit so it only works well with a uh, high speed devices so if you want to put a, a either a low or full speed device you better put a, a hub, even a passive hub will do it. Okay, so uh, this is the, uh, the router itself and using this one, I will also uh, plug into the, the USB port, uh, an Arduino board. And for this, uh, I will use this one, the, which is uh, the uh, Vinci Duino Arduino board. It's a Leonard Arduino Leonardo clone. So basically it means that uh, it has uh, an 80 mega 32U4 chip with integrated uh, USB device in it, uh, full speed device. And it has also a, a nice form factor, which is the Arduino Pro form factor. And what is really uh, interesting is that this um, form factor is about the same size as the, uh, uh, the TP-Link router here. So you can really uh, put a, a, a double-sided tape and, you know, tape the uh, uh, Arduino, Vinci Duino board on top of the uh, of the router here. So they are match they are the dimensions are matching almost exactly. So that's uh, uh, that's very strange <laughs> sometimes. Uh, okay, so, and, and this one, you see, this is the only uh, chip on board, uh, which is the uh, 80 mega 32U4 with an integrated USB. You have the uh, uh, mini USB connector here. Um, basically, you have only a few diodes and LEDs and uh, an LDO uh, voltage regulator here, and all, everything else is passive. But uh, I chose this one because of this form factor, and it's also a very cheap uh, board because you can get it for 16 euros or 20 dollars in kit. And this is probably the uh, cheapest and smallest uh, board, Arduino board, you can find that still has the um, uh, the connectors for the Arduino shields that is compatible with the Arduino shields. So that's the, the main reason, but you may find some uh, some other ones if you want. That doesn't matter, it doesn't uh, matter much, you know, what board you are using just to be uh, an, an Arduino board. Okay, and so uh, what I will show you is uh, a few features uh, so let's connect first to the Linguino using your uh, login and password that you set up previously during the install. Uh, what you can do here, uh, the only thing you can do uh, right now uh, for the Arduino from this uh, nice menu is to control the, uh, the Arduino power. So if you go into a GPIO, system GPIO, you see that there is uh, an entry here for the USB power, which is on GPIO 8 as an output, and it's currently on, or you can set it on, and then it's currently off. I can turn it on by just saying one and save and apply, okay, here. And you see at the same time in a, in a serial console here, 
that uh, it's bringing up the, the device first in the uh, boot, bootloader mode for the Arduino and then as a, a serial because that's the the, uh, the firmware that has been uh, flashed in it and I can turn it off the same way okay so that's a way to turn on or off the Arduino board from the uh, web interface so that's the only thing that is uh, integrated right now into the uh, uh, web admin interface but that's pretty neat pretty neat okay so uh, next thing I will do is I will try to um, uh, show you a, a few recipes uh, uh, command line recipes that that are described here we'll uh, go through these ones uh, basically I will try first to um, uh, flash a small hello world a program that is just uh, sending hello world every second on a, on a cellular line then a more sophisticated one that is that provides like a um, uh, an interpreter for the uh, Arduino board and we'll see that and then uh, a few uh, comments that uh, I will describe a little bit later okay so let's first see this uh, this first program which is very uh, you see this is the, uh, the, the Arduino IDE and basically we just set up the uh, serial line and, and send the hello world that's it okay and wait for one second and send it ba back again okay so uh, what I will do is uh, from here I will just follow these ones uh, cd slash tnp and I will download onto the uh, tp-link the uh, x file that has been generated by the uh, Arduino IDE for the moment okay it's already there and, and then uh, I will just turn off just in case and turn on the Arduino you see and while it's on and in the bootloader mode I will start flashing okay all right it's flashed now I can check use, uh, using a, a terminal emulator onto the uh, TP-Link router called Microcon and you see that there is a hello world uh, coming in every every second on the cellular line okay uh, so just say control C to uh, control X uh, for, uh, sorry to exit and what is nice also I can I can s uh, set up a, a proxy from a cellular line to a, a, a network uh, socket which is called Sertunet which is included into the uh, uh, Linguino uh, firmware too so if I just do that I just specify on which port I want to uh, I want to have a, 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 an availability I can be a row or tenet protocol I don't remember this one and this one is just the serial line you want to use and uh, and the speed so you just do that and it will be launched as a, a background daemon and then you have the ability to tell net to the specified port here and get exactly the same thing as uh, using a a terminal emulator but it's through a, a, a network proc uh, a proxy and it's uh, you are connecting to a socket so that's pretty nice because you can do it remotely okay uh, control e and exit now uh, this is a, a very simple program the second one i wanted to show you is is the bit slash bit slash excuse me and uh, this is a, a small interpreter for the uh, the arduino board and uh, this is this um, uh, here it's on the github it's a, a programmable command shell for Arduino so you can do something like this on a very small footprint like uh, uh, less than 14 kilobytes something like that so that's very 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 nice to, to have this ability for prototyping so um, I'll do that uh, I will just do um, but it's probably already there okay I tried that before so okay it exists already so i'll turn off the arduino board again okay and then turn it on and program the sketch into it okay and then now if i go back to uh, microcom to uh, to get console I have the console here and I just program a small uh, uh, script into it to, uh, to uh, output a, a counter every second so I just interrupt it using control C and I can type in help and this is uh, like a, a banner the bitlash uh, banner 
and it lists all the uh, available commands and operators that you get, which is very pretty nice in this uh, in this space. And uh, I've defined a, a startup command just to set up the pin uh, 13 as output and to run a, the toggle 13 command every second. And the toggle 13 command function is here. It just uh, toggle the D13 pin and uh, print the uh, counter and increment a counter. That's it. So that's uh, uh, quite a nice thing already. Okay. And then I can do the same trick as uh, before using the certunet proxy and turn it to it. Okay. And if I type help again, it works exactly as on a, a local serial terminal. Okay, and the last thing I wanted to uh, to show is the um, uh, usually the um, uh, Arduino comes with uh, uh, some files uh, that are uh, in the uh, installation directory. User share Arduino hard hardware Arduino on the uh, on the Unix. Uh, these are the uh, board.txt file and programmer.txt file. So let's uh, see what's in there. It's actually it's the definition on of each supported board with all the parameters to flash and access the serial line and everything. So it's like a kind of database of all the supported boards for the Arduino IDE. You have the same thing for the uh, programmers, unless you are, it's less interesting and it's shorter, but you have the, uh, the, the characteristic of each and every programmer supported by the uh, I, I Arduino IDE. So, and what I did is um, uh, I wrote a small script that converts these uh, databases into a uh, UCI compatible uh, databases. Uh, the UCI system is uh, the main uh, centralized uh, configuration interface for the OpenWRT uh, firmware. Uh, so it provides uh, some uh, command line tools or on some uh, libraries to access the, the, these databases from uh, either C or Lua language. So that's pretty interesting because it's very consistent and it's like uh, you have just uh, like uh, 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 some uh, sections and then options uh, you, you, you are all in ASCII. So you can either uh, edit them using a, a text editor or use the command line tools or use your favorite language to access it. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, but it's not the same as the, um, uh, of course, as the uh, Arduino provided files. So I, I wrote a small conversion uh, script shell script to convert the uh, original Arduino files into the the UCI syntax. So um, yeah, I can do that. Okay, and this is the, uh, uh, the shell here. And then if I go into uh, see the the output is generated here. You get uh, a few files. First, you get the Arduino file here, which is. Uh, Let's look at it. A file defining all the boards with a, an ID and a name, and then all the programmers again with ID and a name. And if we go into boards, uh, you have a list of all the supported boards. And then if you take like the uh, the Uno for example, let's take the Uno. Uh, you have uh, a section created for the upload section, bootloader section, and build section. So you have all the uh, parameters that are used not that are useful for an ID uh, an Arduino compatible ID but in a UCI format and the same thing for programmers uh, so uh, let's take uh, uh, for example this one IVRISP okay and you have all the uh, parameters for the programmers also so this uh, this small shell script is pretty useful because uh, what uh, the, the the purpose of that is then that you can uh, access this, uh, you can put this database into the the Linkduino firmware and access it using uh, just command line tools. For example, uh, this command here, UCI. Uh, this is to specify the configuration path, and just to get the Arduino dot boards dot ID. It will list all the IDs supported uh, in just one command. So that's pretty useful. Or you can get all the board names that are supported you see that's also very interesting or you can uh, query uh, like the uniboard which is its uh, frequency for the cpu for the build uh, so that's uh, let's take this one okay 
and it's uh, 16 megahertz or you can show the all the options for the uh, UNO the same way okay and the upload size and everything so that would be very useful to interface to the uh, web admin because uh, uh, the Lucy will uh, access this uh, database uh, using this uh, almost equivalent comments. All right, so uh, I hope you enjoy that. Thank you. Bye.